Hi, welcome everybody, it's Mike Newton at Lytham Golf Academy. Got another PXG review for you here this time, and it's the uh, PXG 0811 driver review. Okay, so, I've just done a few reviews on my channel for the irons, I'm just working my way through all our new uh, PXG fitting equipment here and just reviewing it. So, this time I'm going to work on the driver. Now, this is a really nice looking golf club. First initial impressions when I saw it the other day, it, it looks really quality. Um, loving the sole, it's a bit industrial, you know, with the bolts sort of put on there, but it's it's quite a classic sort of, or, or not classic, um, maybe sort of a very quality looking finish on the sole. Now, when you turn it over and look at the head, the head is very clear, you know, okay, there's a tiny little alignment aid there, but it's very small. I'll show you that in a minute. It's a matte black finish, so it looks very stealth. Very simple shape on it, sits very square at address. The club face is black as well as the club head. Okay, so it's it's just a very sort of simple looking golf club. Okay, but it's packed with quite a lot of technology here and also a lot of adjustability. So as you'll notice with the irons and as well with the driver, we've got all these bolts. There's actually 16 different sort of bolts scattered around here. Okay, so um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six um, like platinum coloured bolts. You see those? Okay, so they're a high density tungsten weight. So that's a heavy weight. Okay, the black ones that are positioned everywhere else. Okay, they are um, a low density titanium. So obviously very light. Okay, so with the, with the silver coloured platinum coloured screws being very heavy, you can then place those around the centre or around the club head in those different positions to alter the sort of CG in the head to alter launch and spin numbers. Okay, so that's more spin, low spin, high launch, lower launch, draw bias, fade bias. So there's a lot of options there. Okay, so then you can go into the um, shaft sleeve. So obviously the shaft sleeve will, will come out and rotate 360 like a lot of other brands. And you can actually go up or down 1.5 degrees in loft. Okay, so there's a bit of adjustability there in terms of dialing the loft. So you can buy a 9 degree or a, or a 10.5 degree, but then you can go up or down 1.5 degrees from there. So again, getting the weights right, getting the loft right, can really fine tune launch, spin, and obviously your distance numbers. But obviously, it all comes down to getting custom fit on a launch monitor here. Okay, so let, let's have a little look at the plane position of the, of the driver. Okay, so a little bit more of a close-up of the sole here. So there you can see the the uh, six platinum-coloured um, tungsten weights there, which are the heavy ones. The rest of them are all black, which are titanium, which are obviously a lot lighter. So this particular setting, I've got it here, is quite neutral because the weights are evenly distributed from heel to toe, but all the weights are towards the club face, so more forward in the head, which is going to try and generate a slightly lower launch and lower spin characteristics. So my general spin is a little bit high so i'm trying to get that spin down a little bit so that should be a good option for me to uh, to work on okay so here's a little closer look at the top of the head so you can see a very subtle alignment aid there you've got to look quite closely to see that so when you sort of back at address you just about see that so it's very subtle but you can see it's a lovely matte black finish on the head here really stunning look on the on the club very stealth like all important playing position so you can see it sits very square beautiful round shape nothing fancy going on there at all black black ferrule here black club face very classic right so we're going to hit some shots here i've got gc2 hmt set up here so we'll have a look at some um, some ball flights and some spin numbers here okay so as i say present that down by the ball just looks Beautiful, I really do like the look of that. Everything's black. I've actually got this in the hazardous handcrafted shaft here, 6.0 flex. So it's a low spinning shaft here, but this particular shaft is black, so black rib, black shaft, black head. Just very classic looking. Okay, let's hear a few shots and see how this performs. Nice strike to start with. Just leak that a little bit off to the right. Okay, so that carried 265. Okay, not my longest there. A little bit off to the right there. Let's try and put a better swing on this one. So 
there's a quick replay of the second shot hit there. A bit of a better strike than the first one there. A little bit of a nice sort of draw got happening there. Carrying out at about 284, just creeping over that 300 mark. 305. Okay, let's get another one underway. Loving the look of it, really do enjoy the look of that. Really nice though to be fair. So what I've just noticed on those first few shots there, I've just had a quick look at the numbers and the spin's a little bit high. It's averaging over 3,000 there, which is a little bit high really. So what I've done here, I've just changed the loft. I've dropped this down to 7.5 degree. Okay, so I'm hitting fairly on the up here, so I'm delivering a bit of loft here. So I'm going to drop a bit of loft off it. We'll just see how that affects the sort of launch and spin numbers here. Okay. Now, to be fair, as I sit that down, it doesn't look 7.5. It's, you know, 7.5, obviously, isn't a lot of loft there for many golfers, but I think as I put that down, it doesn't look like it's changed a massive amount. Let's give this one a hit. strike okay good yeah a little bit lower though which is good just see what that spun at yeah two and a half thousand there that's a better spin number there okay let's give that one another go Solid strike. Definitely coming out a little bit lower there. That was a good hit. That's getting up to 306 there. Let's have a look at that spin number. Yeah, two and a half thousand on the money again. So definitely just changing that loft there has just helped me control my dynamic loft I present at the golf ball and also then just offers that slightly lower spin option. Okay, let's have a quick look at those two numbers and those two different settings and see how different they are. So let's have a quick look at the uh, side on view of the two shots or the two different lofts there. So you can see the white flight there was with the nine degree loft. So you can see it just peaks, launches a little bit higher, peaks higher, and obviously it just drops off a little bit because it had that little bit more spin. You see it just stalls a bit more here and then descends a little bit steeper. So just flip that loft down one and a half degree, which allows to PXG. Uh, shaft fitting allows us to knock it down a degree so you can see it launches a little bit lower stays lower so the spins obviously less here so you see it gets the peak of its flight it's a lot flatter here okay so that's where it just carries out that little bit more maybe on the distance there and just works that run out a little bit more but that's a lot more penetrating obviously on your you know when it's windier as well so just have a look at the numbers there so you see clubhead speeds very similar 115 Ball speed 165, 164, so not a lot in it there to be honest. Uh, efficiency, to be fair, is a little bit better on the smash factor, just on the 9 degree there, but again, that's probably just a little bit of strike, just helps that number out, so very similar there. There you go, so you can see the launch here just drops off a little bit, so as you've dropped into that 7.5 loft, you see the launch just, just drop down. Okay, side spins, a little bit of a fade on these, but you see these are spin numbers, these are the biggies here, so 2,500 there. I'd personally like to get that lower, nearer to the 2,000, and obviously if I did that, I'd then want to try and get this launch up a little bit. So there, maybe that's a little bit more of, of me and my angle of attack, maybe changing, a bit of technical change there more than anything. Possibly delve into shaft options a little bit more there, because I have got the heavy weights forward in the head, I've got that on a very low loft, so that's as, probably as low as I'm going to get it there. But then my angle of attack and how I deliver the club into the ball will also help to change this number. So there's a bit of me involved there as well as a little bit of delving into shafts possibly. Um, so look at the carry distance there. You see, just get a little bit more out of it on that carry. The peak height is obviously a lot lower there so good nine yards on average lower and you can see the descent angles a massive difference very very steep on that other one just purely because it's spun too much 
maybe launched a little bit higher with a lot of spin and it was just descending in a little bit steep and just lose off that little bit of distance. So there we have it, the PXG 0811 driver. Um, very, very good looking golf club there. Liking the look of it, the stealth black look. Um, I'm, 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 I'm into this changeability of the, of the weights here. Obviously I've not got into the changeability of the weights in this video. This is maybe a separate video I might do. Obviously I've changed loft there, which has changed my numbers quite considerably there. Um, but really, as a review video here, in terms of the look, the feel, um, maybe sort of numbers there, obviously it, it's not possibly the longest out there, you know, but that could change for maybe another test to do on a different day um, against other drivers. That's maybe some more videos coming your way. But, you know, I, I didn't expect it to be, you know, the price tag is a lot more than maybe other golf clubs. But that's more because the materials are used and how they sort of build these clubs. But... I wasn't expecting that 50 yards more than, say, for instance, a TaylorMade or a Callaway or whatever. Um, you just, you're just not going to find that difference of distance. Um, so that I didn't expect, which I haven't actually seen. But the, the numbers is right up there. It's as good a performance as anything else out there. Again, it's all about delving in, fine-tuning these weights, the loft, obviously shaft options here, trying to delve these in. There's a lot of options on our fitting cart here for PXG um, to you as an individual. Um, to try to get the maximum performance but in terms of look feel like it really do like it i'm liking the whole range to be honest it's, it's quite an impressive range of golf clubs so thanks for watching the video uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so i'll put a link up here somewhere uh, comment down below my, my contact detail details are below my social media links are all below so please hook up and stay tuned and see what else is going on down here at Lytham golf academy thanks for watching i'll see you all very soon